Well, there's nothing better than starting the day on the sea. Today, we're heading out to catch a stack of fish. But the start is crayfish for breakfast. Whether coffee, could it get any better? I think not. It's amazing these islands have little huts and houses all over that the fishermen have used for generations. This is the oldest one on this particular island, made totally of coral, and it has withstood the harsh elements for over four decades. It is so cool. is bag a day it's a 40 foot jet boat we're about to get off this hop on board her because she's a jet boat she can literally run in 30 centimeters of water and we want to get in super shallow to try and find our target species today this is so exciting hopping off one boat on another boat to get to places where no one else can physically get to let's go Joshy let's do it go cool. Tails for brekkie, heads are going straight in for belly. Well, this is Josh Johnson, owner operator of Abrolis Adventures. Now you love catching ball chin, and you reckon a bit of hockey's gonna do the job, mate? Definitely will, mate. It's my favourite fishing. Belly's in the water. Let's go nail up here, mate. I can't believe how shallow you do this. This particular area of fishing today is known as the brains. It's because of the brains coral. When you look over the side, there's literally all these big lumps everywhere. It looks like giant brains. And it's such a fishy habitat, isn't it, mate? Absolutely, mate. I think I'm on here. Gee, that's a good fish. Oh. He took it, eh, Josh? He did. It's a good fish, I reckon. Lots of weight. He has been playing with that bait for two minutes, I reckon. Oh, he's pulling back. Just got to keep him coming. Get him out of this coral. Oh, he's a oh. nice fish. He's a big fish. Do we need a net? Oh, check out the size of this thing. Woo! Okay, I'm just going to... Yes! Yes! <laughs> Look at the size of that! That is an absolute beast. It's a monster. Now, Josh, when I say these things are endemic to Western Australia, what does it actually mean, mate? Mate, this is the only place you'll find them in the world. Well, you know what? I'd come to WA just to find these fish, because that is almost prehistoric. Look at the jaws there. Massive canine teeth, both top and bottom. That big, bald white chin is why they get the name the bald chin groper. And of course, also that white spot on the pectoral fin. When they get to these size, man, they pull hard. Even the 200 pound hand line, the whole way in, you were just fighting that fish thinking, can Absolutely. I, can I, can I? And you were just saying, mate, this is your favorite type of fishing? This is my favorite, mate, this is what I love. It is fast becoming mine too. Well, this guy just measured 65 centimeters. I love eating these, but I gotta let him go. See ya, buddy. And away he goes, look at that, he's swimming. That is a beautiful thing. The Abrolhos Islands have so much to offer, from the fishing to the incredible history, but just wait until you see the blue hole.
line management is never as important as when you fly fishing. It's all about managing that line, but I reckon hand lining is the second most important time. I've got 200 pound line over the deck here. If a big fish come, the last thing I want is to get that wrapped around me. So always have it away, always have it nice and clear and know where you're putting it. Because seriously, that is a thick line and you don't want it wrapped around your leg. He's a good one. He's a good one. He was literally sitting on it. Oh, it's a big fish, this one. Oh, he was sitting there. Come on. This feels big, Josh. Oh, he's it's... pulling line. He's pulling string. Mate, I'm gonna just watch your line there come under me. That's it, and pull it in maybe. Oh, this is wrong. What have we got? It's oh, a cod. It's a cod. No wonder he was sitting on it. Oh, holy snapping cod. Come and have a look at this thing in the water. That is just epic. Oh, that's a big fish. Look at that. Joshy, now, what do you call this thing, mate? This is an estuary cod. An estuary cod. And what's the deal? Because I believe they're incredible eating. What's the deal in relation to regulations? Anywhere between 40 centimetres and 100 centimetres. That's the range. You're allowed to keep them. So basically what they've got is a slot limit. So they want to protect the little ones. They also want to protect the big ones. Yep, anything over a metre, it's got to go back. There you go. So these fish cannot be filleted at sea. They obviously want to prevent people from taking the big ones and cutting them into fillets. So if you do catch one of these, it fits between the slot and you want to keep it, make sure you bring it in whole. That way WA Fisheries will be very, very happy with your work. If you ever want to know how effective burley is, we've been using crayfish for burley. Look at that. That's the cray we've been using for burley and he still took the octopus. That's where the whole circle of life comes together. Now, I have been told this is one of the best eating fish out of Brolis Islands, but rumour has it, someone is making lasagna tonight. Is that rumour true? That's true. I love lasagna. So this bloke, you're very lucky. I have an appreciation for Italian food. Off you go, mate. Now, what sort of lasagna, more importantly? Oh, you know, the one that comes in an aluminium tray. Oh, Papa Sajepi, Papa Sajepi. Why do you work so hard? I'm making a pizza. Mamma mia. Oh, Mamma mia. It's definitely not big. What have we got here? It's red. Oh, no way. That is the biggest bearded goatfish I've ever seen in my life. When you say bearded, look at that. See those two little beards down there? Yep. He actually uses them as he goes along the bottom feeling for worms and stuff. I've got some Western Oriental gentlemen that come into my shop. Good old fashioned Italians. They spend mega dollars on worms to go down to Sorrento ports, etc. And this is the only fish they want to catch. I've never seen one bigger than about that though. Absolutely, look at that. Very, very famous in the Mediterranean. And seriously, the taste, it is sweet. Yep, got one. Nice. It's been so consistent, hasn't it? Oh, that's a big Ooh. fish. Look at the way he's coming around. That's a good fish, mate, when they start doing that, eh? Oh, he's got you in the gotta coral? Watch him, gotta watch him other way, other way. Ooh, oh, feels like a good one, Paul. I was hoping he's gonna swim the other way. That's a good Ooh. fish. What's he doing? Oh, he's starting to run. I can't see him yet, I can't see him yet. Oh yeah, nice, nice baldy I reckon. And he's hanging down low. He's going hard. He is going super hard, Woohoo! Good work. Oh, beauty, swing him over. That is simply stunning. There are no other words. A beautiful fish, we're fishing shallow today, but what's their depth range? Look, Paul, anywhere from one metre to 80 metres. That's amazing. I love catching these things in the shallow, seriously. When you're getting stretched on a hand line, it's about as much fun as fishing gets. You, you're on? Yep, I'm on, mate. Yep, mate, mine's here. That's one nice ball tin groper. And you reckon you got another? Oh, I don't know what's Whatever going it on is, here. it's big. I'm going to get this fish in the water and we'll see what he's got over there. Mate, my fish is having a swim over there. I reckon oh, your fish is way bigger. How's the way they come up with the current? They use the big sides of their body. It's a whitey. To literally go hard, it's a whitey. Oh yeah, look, oh that's beautiful. Oh, look at the colour of this thing. She's a big baldy. Oh. Keep pulling, keep pulling. Oh, it is a big baldy, go. Uh, I think big baldy is an understatement, mate. That is not a big baldy. That is actually a horse of a baldy. 
And when you're catching them two at a time, you know you're having a pretty good day. Two words you might want to remember. Abrolos, adventure. Well, Josh, no fibbing. Is it always this good at the Abrolos Islands? Always this good, mate. This has been an unbelievable session. The trouble is, it's only lunchtime and I want dinner. What are you cooking? Lasagna. Yeah, baby. Papa Sajepi!